All right, Shalom, I'm another GMS on the go back with another lesson. Look, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bad listeners. Updating on the latest news events, current events, things of that nature, man. Hey, look, the Lord's making more evils and only evils. We're going to read this article, bring us some scriptures, and then we're going to wrap it up. This is, um, this is a news article from February the 17th, 2022. So it's, so it's very current. Evictions. Evictions, yes. Evictions looming for those waiting for rental assistance from Wake County. But there is some hope. Psst, not remember when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh let's read this raleigh north carolina of course evictions are looming for wake county tenants waiting for rental assistance america's broke man all right america's broke period no matter which state you're in it says tenants are waiting for rental assistance through house house walk house wake the county's rental assistance program which is run by Telemont, despite applying months ago for help, renters and landlords continue to reach out to ABC 11, expressing frustrations with the county's program. Marche McDaniel, a rental, a renter who applied for help, says your assistance is no assistance to me. She applied last fall and while her online account said it was under review, she said that no matter how many times she called tele Telemon, she couldn't get answers. Nobody answers the phone. Pick up the phone. Nobody answers the phone. And so I'm like, what now? Go get a damn job. I still haven't heard of denial, approval, or anything. I have just been under review, McDaniel said. Her landlord is losing patience. And she was served a notice that if her full rent is not paid, she must vacate. You see? She ain't paying. You can read into this article. She ain't paid her rent in, since uh, 2021. What, you people think you just lay around? Lay around in that apartment for years and years without paying their rent? It's time to pay up now. People are facing evictions, man. Millions of people in these different counties are facing eviction each and every day. Don't 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 let it don't let the news fool you. People are getting kicked the hell out. Sheriff wants on every every time I ride around, every time I walk around through different neighborhoods, only thing I'm seeing is sheriff wants on the door, meaning the people that got kicked out all damn ready, man. Don't don't let this place fool you into thinking that everything's all love, love. Not only evils. Come on now. Let's bring out some scriptures right quick. It's getting bad out here. They might try to sugarcoat it, you know what I'm saying, with their, um, with their tell lie, 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 lie vision, and the damn government officials ain't helping out. They're, they're not helping none of these people out, all right? The different policies, legislations, that shit ain't doing nothing, man. Second Ezra 15. This is what the Lord said was going to happen. Say, depend on the government. Never trust thine enemy. He He's going to pretend to help you, man. All these different um, meetings and you see, public meetings and things of that nature. Come on, man. Congress meetings and all that. It ain't got shit to do with helping you people. You should know that by now. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak down in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. We're telling what's going to happen before it even happened, right? Which I will put in their mouth, save the Lord. Uh, let's see. Four. For all the unfavored shall die in the unfavored. So what we're bringing out, the information that we're bringing out, according to the scripture, you don't have to believe it. You're going to get caught up in the destruction. You see? It says, um, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Let's read, let's read on down. I'm going to go to 49. I'm going to go straight to 49. I will, 49, 2nd Ezra 15, 49, I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, going right back to that article, right? Let's go back to the article right quick. So on this phone, Alec, it got some sense. 
Remember, the Lord said, he's going to send poverty upon you, right? Evictions looming for those awaiting rental assistance from Wake County. But there is some hope. Look, look, false hope. F false hope. All hell breaking loose. The, the government is broke. They, they can't afford to help you people out with your damn rent. You should have got off your ass a long time ago. You should have been doing something, man. Digging a ditch, collecting cans. You should have been doing something, but you've been sitting on your ass for the last year praying and hoping that the government come through for you. How silly are you? How silly are you? Why the most, most of us been just grinding, going to get it, man. Working odd jobs and things of that nature. Praying most definitely. It's the Lord controlling everything, though. Let's get that again. Second Andrews 15. I just want to throw something out there. People are getting kicked out left and right. They, they might try to, when they show it on the news, people are smiling, having fun, going to the beach, partying, clubbing. Look, man, people are homeless as hell out here, man, getting kicked out by the day, man. Why? Because it's thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, so a whole lot of women are losing their men, so they ain't got no backbone. The man is the backbone of the house, man. So, so you women out there, you know what I'm saying? Without men, you, you, you most definitely through. And, and there's a whole lot of men out there. You're through. The, the Lord, the Lord said, "Help not a sinner, help not an evil doer, man." You see, you people are evil doers. So now you got to go through it. Poverty. You see, no money at all. Famine, a lack of food. See, all these things. It's a ripple effect, man. A ripple effect. You lose one thing, then you lose another thing, then you lose another thing, and then you lose another thing. That's thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible. Sword and pestilence to waste their houses with destruction and death. And look, we ain't even got to the juicy part yet. All hell ain't even really broke loose yet, man. We ain't even got to the juicy part yet. You see? It's going to get more juicier, man. More more people are going to be homeless. Every time we turn around, you're going to see people shit sitting outside the door. You see? Look, look, look. For when then I, I got to get that too. So Rock chapter 11, verse 14. The Lord is controlling all this. Let's get it. That's why we got to constantly pray. That we're kind of worthy to escape these evils, man, meaning these bad times, man. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 14. Prosperity and adversity. Life and death. Poverty and riches come of the Lord. More reason on why we should fear the Lord. With all these different evictions going, look, man, pr pretty much a million evictions going on in each county, each each county, man, and each state. Don't let them don't let them paint this picture of everything going all lovey dovey. It it ain't, man. Everything ain't all lovey dovey. Motherfuckers is homeless out here. You see, and then look, and it's thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. Let's get this Hebrews right quick. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. The Lord said, no one can deliver you out of his clutches, man. And, and rent going to hell up too. And these people that are facing eviction, they had an apartments like uh, $1,200, $2,000 a month for rent. What the hell? And your other bills? Hebrews chapter 10. Trying to live that glamorous life. You see what happens when you try to live that glamorous life. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Now, you saw the Lord say he's bringing the poverty. You know what I'm saying? Adversity, life, death come of the Lord, man. But the only thing you want to do is have a good time. The Lord said, go to the house of mourning. Hey, all hell is breaking loose, man. People are losing their businesses by the second, man. All right? Their businesses, their homes, their livelihood by the seconds. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31 is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. People are really going through it. Yeah, I, I hear acting like they ain't going through nothing, man. People are catching pure hell, man. You see? They, 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 they reaping what they sowing. You reap what you sow. What else, Lord? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm just throw this in here right quick. Let's just go ahead and get it. Say Matthew, the 10th chapter. We're just going to get one, one quick verse. 34, think not, St. Matthew 10, 34, think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, which represents destruction. And ain't nobody can't help you. You can't pay your rent. And look, nobody can't help you. Just, just know that. Yeah, everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Really? Look, 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 really? Everything ain't fine. You fail for that nonsense. Israel, you fall for it every time, too. First Thessalonians chapter 5. I'll read one and I jump. 
Uh, but of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you because you're supposed to be watching. You're supposed to be looking and praying. Watching and praying, as the scripture says, you shouldn't nobody, man, it's, it's hard out here. Welcome to reality, right? Welcome to reality, right? Everybody was living in this damn fantasy world. Uh, like like America, you know what I'm saying? Babylon, the great, was heaven. Like this was the kingdom of heaven. No, enough problems go down here, man. Enough problems. And the temperature, hot as hell. I think the index factor today is going to be 103. It's going to be like 100 today, man. You know, on top of you being homeless, got to worry about all them damn nets, flies, nowhere to use the bathroom. Come on, man. But of the times of season, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. And you got to worry about wars, earthquakes, storms, floods on top of your ass being evicted. For when they shall say peace and safety, I'm going to the government said they're going to help me. I'm just waiting on the government. I'm just sitting back, sitting on my lazy ass with the remote in my hand, waiting on the government to send me a check so they can pay my rent. I ain't going to get off my ass. I'm not going to go out there and look for a job. I'm just sitting on my fat, lazy ass or my skinny, lazy ass and let the government pay my rent. Wrong. Wrong. For when they shall say peace and safety, wrong. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come up upon them. Ash the veil upon the one with child, and they shall not escape, man. You see? But ye brethren are not in darkness. That that day should overtake you as a thief, man. We we know what time it is. That's why we're constantly watching, praying. You look, getting up when we don't want to, going to damn work, doing what we got to do, man. We got to do what we got to do. Let's get second as the 14. Like I said before, I'm just running through some scriptures right quick. I was reading their article this morning and, and, and it's really it's really going down. People are really getting kicked out left and right, man. Left and right. Right to left, left to right, up to down, man. Second as the 14th chapter. Verse 16, and it reads, For yet greater evils, more bad times, than those which thou hast seen happen, Shall be done hereafter. So we ain't seen nothing yet. We we ain't seen nothing. You talking about you talking about evictions? People, you about to see all kind of people stuff sitting on the curves, man. And then it's gonna start raining. Soon you put your stuff outside. The Lord gonna make it rain, and all your shit gonna get wet. You gonna get wet. Your TVs, your couches, your clothes, everything is gonna get wet. But that's what you get. Evictions looming for those awaiting rental assistance from Wake County. But there is some hope. Wrong. Wrong. It ain't no hope, man. Our only hope is in the Lord. Let Israel hope in the Lord. That's it, man. Let Israel hope in the Lord. Let's get Jeremiah right quick. The Lord said, hey, you ain't nobody going to be able to deliver you out of my clutches, man. Keep keep thinking that these people are going to help you, man. Let's get Jeremiah. I got one more after this, and then I'm going to wrap it up, Lord's will. This is Jeremiah. Chapter 11, tells them, tells them, I've been calling the people, but they haven't answered the phone. Pick up the phone. Ain't nobody going to pick up the phone, man. Jeremiah chapter 11. Ain't nobody picking up the phone. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 11. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will bring evil upon them. The Lord is bringing these bad times upon you people, mainly you Israelites, which they shall not be able to escape. Your government is not going to help you out. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them, man. The Lord said, I'm not going to listen to you, man. Cry all you want. It says, therefore, 14, therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. And they're going through it right about now. Hooping, hollering, huh, huh, needing some damn help now. You see? But remember, you the same ones that celebrate the 4th of July. You the same ones that celebrate your birthday, Christmas, all this BS, all of it, man. You wouldn't take heed to the service of the Lord that was out there on the highways and byways, so you get what you deserve, man. All right? You get what you deserve. Let's get this. Isaiah, what is it? Isaiah 31? What are them to go down to Egypt for help? I think this is it. Yeah. Isaiah 31 and 1, woe, which means destruction. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And you can throw lament, Lamentation, the fourth chapter in there too. Verse 17, woe, which means destruction to them that go down to Egypt, a.k.a. America, spiritually Sodom and Egypt, Babylon, the great, the land of confusion, the mother of harlots, for help. Going to the government. I've been calling the government. No one responds. They broke, man. What part of that don't you understand? These Americas broke all, all over this whole country. It's broke, man. You see? 
is, is stay on horses. You trust it in the power structure. Now it's falling. A sinking ship, CTD, circling the drain, right? It says, and trust in chariots, men in the military, because they are many, and in the horsemen, because they are very strong, but they look not, meaning the Israelites, but they look not until the Holy One of Israel. They don't hope in the Lord. They don't seek the Lord for help. Neither seek ye the Lord, man. Neither seek the Lord. Then that's what that's what you should have been doing. That's what you should have been doing the whole time, seeking the Lord, right? So the end results of our people not seeking the Lord is this right here. Your ass facing eviction, among other things. This is the article I was reading into, you know? Look, man, people are facing evictions in every state, every county. Don't let the news fool you. They might not be showing it too much on the news, but it's really going down behind the scenes, man. People are homeless, man. And it's all according to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim. This is the Lord's doing. Should there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? More, more evils. Shalom.